What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and in today's video we are messing with the vampire. Now as you guys know there's a vampire in San Denis. If you have no idea about this dude make sure you guys check out the link in the top right of the video to go see how to activate the vampire for yourself as I've already done all the steps and I noticed something very interesting when I activated the vampire. To activate said vampire, you have to go through a, a few steps uh, around San Denis to get him to show up. And uh, what's weird is after doing all the steps, I noticed something very interesting about this. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, this is the, 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 the last page you get after seeing all the vampire clues. So, he, you know, there's all these things he says on the wall filled with blood and you have to write all these things down. So I started thinking, wait a minute, what if we take this page as we know this is where he spawns and what if this is like a greater picture there's something way bigger to this i automatically thought of the pagan ritual site what if we take the vampire the pagan ritual site is there a connection maybe maybe not only one way to find out and that's to kidnap the vampire so in order for him to appear it doesn't have to be nighttime so we have to go to sleep real quick and everyone just got freaked out that i'm in here so let's rent a room and let's go to sleep real quick so now it's midnight and it is now time to go see the vampire i've gotten all the clues i needed to get him to appear i'm pretty excited so if you look at my mini map right now look at this the vampire's there see that dead body right here that means he's there. He's actually sucking on that corpse right now as I'm talking to you guys. So let's get into this alleyway right now and go, go meet up with him. There he is, dudes. There he is. Hello, Mr. Vampire. You found me. I did. <laughs> what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> okay. Right? He walks with the undead. You're a vampire? I have been called many names over He gets the so centuries. close, by the now way. Go, or I'll feed on you too. You're no more vampire than I am. True. Oh god. I'll suck you dry. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me? All right, we're going to try this again, but this time we're not going to save these people. Oh, yeah, maybe we should have saved them. But regardless, the vampire's there, and we're not going to let him kill us this time. That's not going to happen. And I don't know what it is, but uh, I just loaded up, and there was four events happening all around me. So it's pretty crazy. Hello, Mr. Vampire. All right, let's, let's talk hey, to him. What are you doing? We're going to antagonize him. I'm going to run away this time to make sure that he... Because he gets really close to you, and his dagger's a one-shot kill, so we don't want to get hit by that thing. Do you look how close Wait, you're a vampire? Let me get super close to you. Alright, we're gonna antagonize him. Here we go. You're a goddamn idiot. <laughs> oh god. I'll suck you dry. Oh god. Alright, and then the seventh. Psych, mother trucker. Name's Arthur Morgan. I'll bleed you slowly. Not today, mother trucker. Today we're going on a little you trip. Will truly suffer now. Oh god, that sounds creepy. Where's my horse? How did my horse end up in there? I will spare you oh, first. Why do I have all the special horses? There we go. My horse is messed up, dudes. Because I have this basic freaking horse that just sucks at everything. Okay, now that we have the vampire in our possession, we have to travel. Oh, and we have to pay this bounty. Okay, let's go pay this bounty first, and then we'll go over there. We can't go to Strawberry with a $2 bounty and not expect to die. Especially because this, like, pentagram sacrificial area is so far away. It really makes me wonder what will happen if we take this vampire to that area because vampire and pentagrams go hand in hand so we're gonna have to see what happens let's pay this bounty bro where is my horse going bro this horse is literally the worst what's great about having the vampire in the back of your horse as well is no one bothers you you won't get cops no one is a witness to you being a hostage just easy going dude super simple you just ride wherever you want. No one really cares that you have a vampire on the back of your horse, which is fantastic. Look at this. Easy peasy. Look at me go. The dead body right here. You're not going to mess with that. That just seems like a way to die. What the? Holy. What is this? What the? What happened here? What the? Is this the serial killer? It's the serial killer. You guys missed my serial killer video I did? Make sure you guys go check that out. It's nuts. Yeah, the serial killer is, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, dudes. Look at that. 
Oh my God. All right. The vampire during the sunlight clearly is not affected by anything, but I want to try to see uh, what happens if you take the vampire to the pagan ritual site, as I don't know how he will react or how the ritual area will react. And the problem is, holy, I don't know if I need to be there at a certain time or is there something I need to do in order to activate the pagan ritual site? There's got to be more to it that we don't know. And the mystery History is still being like discovered like people are still trying to figure out like what the pagan ritual site is for till this day so hopefully we get some answers soon but nevertheless we have the vampires we might as well take this bad boy to the site and test to see if anything happens with him now i gotta make sure i'm going the right way real quick so it's currently 11 26 in the morning in red dead redemption 2. we're over here by the pagan ritual site on this save specifically i have not been here there's a few things i can try to do few options we have we can wait till daytime or, or nighttime and uh see what happens now that we've brought him here since having him on the back of my horse he hasn't really said much you guys hear that There's like, like really creepy, like those aren't crickets. What is that? <laughs> His face is so ugly. Okay, wait a minute. I feel like if we, if we figure out what these symbols mean, I feel like if we were to bring a goat here, like it'd be very different. I want to drop him sort of close to like the middle, but I don't want him to get like too close, you know? There we go. That's close enough. Now, ideally, I want to get the vampire to, to talk. I've noticed when you have someone kidnapped for a while and they've and they've gone through all the lines of what they normally say, they don't say much. It's just a thing. There we go. I think this is the closest we're gonna get to him being in the middle. Wait. Whoa! Oh, this is bad. He broke out. Hey, where is he going? Hold on. Wait a second. He broke out and then just started leaving. What? That's weird. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drop him off here. Oof, that one sounded like it hurt. I'm gonna take the pagan mask and we're gonna inspect the corpse. Dude's like, I feel like I'm missing something here. And what's even weirder about all this is that the vampire no longer wants to kill me. Like, I'm gonna let him break free right now. He's gonna break free. I'm gonna have my, my lasso ready. Look, he's just gonna run. Hey, come back. There we go. Oh, is that a bear up there? That'd be so bad if there was a bear. Okay, so he can break out of the, the lasso. We already knew that, but I didn't know it was gonna go down like that. <laughs> I, the last thing we need is a bear to kill us. That would be really, really, really bad. What if we... You see, the problem is that he no longer has his knife. I feel like if he had his knife, I would be I would be able to... Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to drop you. Uh, I could stab him with the knife and then maybe sacrifice him like that. Another thing I could try to do, but I don't think it'll work, is to throw his body on the stake itself. Don't think that's going to work, but we can always try. <laughs> Guys clearly did not work <laughs> that actually looked really really funny <laughs> he like bounced off the wooden stake okay clearly doesn't work let's pick him up again and let's throw him at the goat this time now earlier i showed you guys uh when i drew the pentagram in the book i thought that this ritual site had a pentagram it doesn't it has its own form of ritual to it. Now, there is a pentagram in Red Dead Redemption 2. Maybe we should take the vampire there. I've seen it before, but I don't know any more past that. Even throwing him on this, like, goat head does nothing for us. This is what I'm gonna do. With the pagan mask on, I'm gonna stab him. For me to stab him, I need him to be in the middle because I want his body to bleed out right in the middle where that body is right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop him right here, but I'm gonna take out my knife as I'm walking towards it so that he's dropped right where I want him to be. So right here. Now, in doing so, I'm now gonna cut him free and then we're gonna stab him. We'll see what happens. Cut free. Oh, wait, what the, wait, what? Wait, what just happened? That was so weird. I tackled him with the knife. That was so, that, like I tackled him with the knife and the game was like, uh-uh, we're not supposed to be doing this. This might be best done at night. Let's wait till night. I want to try every scenario. And if we kill him now before it turns night, then we might miss something. So I got the pagan mask. We got the vampire. Now we wait till nightfall. It's raining. It's dark. Nightfall has pain as you can see there's some candles lit here but one thing i noticed that uh, there's only one candle lit two wait what three okay wait 
Hold on. Candles are lighting up. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, all the candles are now lit, which is super creepy. There's like these symbols have to mean something and there has to be some context behind them, but we just don't know what they are yet. Every single one of these squares is the same symbol. Over here, the symbols are different. This is creepy, dudes. I have no idea what's going on. I will say that being here with this dude on my back is extremely creepy. Nighttime, like the flies, I'm freezing cold. It's 1238. 12 38 a.m it's creepy it's creepy so what we're gonna do at the pagan ritual site we're gonna drop him 2 a.m and drop him off once we do that we are then going to kill him this is gonna be freaking weird i hope something happens whoa there was like a really weird noise what the hell was that i don't know if i'm being like paranoid but there's like some really freaking weird noise all right it's now 2 a.m let's do it I'm thinking we gotta cut him up. I'm gonna cut him free. I'm sorry. Oh, he dropped the ornate dagger. So we've stabbed him in the. We've stabbed him. He's bled out. He's now dead. Bro, my horse is making all these weird noises. Now, in the book, you can see the pagan ritual site. It's weird because it looks like in the back of like where the where the stake is or like the dude in the middle is at it looks like another person is back there like another body which is super confusing and also i don't think this drawing is accurate oh it is it is accurate these are not the same what the hell was that listen dudes we're gonna i'm gonna end the video here this is freaking creepy as all hell it's now 4 a.m taking the vampire here what the hell was that? This has been the weirdest thing I've ever done in Red Dead Redemption 2. I think me being here has made me freaking freaked out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. My freaking goodness. It's just so freaking weird. I'll see you guys later in the brand new video. Later, guys.